Euripides is my favorite, yeah. for sure. One, I'm a big fan of the underdog, because he never won anything. I also think that he allowed things to be messy in a way that Sophocles and definitely Aeschylus didn't. I mean, I think sp more specifically, like, I think, Eur I think Euripides was somebody who was slightly more set apart from the society or more critical of the society that he was a part of than, than like Aeschylus was. And, the, and he made more like controversial choices because of that. And he didn't win prizes very much because of that. But like, I also think there's more seeds of feminism in Euripides stuff than others, specifically Medea, and how well-rounded that character is when at face value she's so easily just a villain. And I love that at the end of that, I think it's Apollo comes down and rescues her and takes her to Athens. And uh, I remember learning that when that was performed in Athens, the Athenians like rioted. They were so mad that this person was given a haven in Athens. Like they were very upset about that. And he he probably knew that that was gonna happen and he was just like, fuck you, I don't care. Euripides is the bad boy. That's why I like him. His stuff also is, the mo it has the most of that like humanity vein to it. He also seems like the least religious of them, um, which I which I connect to. I think he's more of a of a humanist than the others. I mean, they all have that vein in them, but he's less inclined to be like the gods and fate have. Like he uses the Deus Ex Machina, but he uses it in like a very tongue in cheek way, which I which I'm a big fan of. I feel like Euripides would have been like the John Stewart of of his time. The guy with the unpopular truths, you know? <laughs>